I know we got it wrong. I know we made a mistake. And for that, I'm sorry, and I sincerely apologize. Board is now promising a provincial sick pay program, but there's no detail on what it will be or when it will happen. Meanwhile, hospitals in Ontario are still overloaded. There are 2,350 Ontarians in hospital with COVID-19 now. 806 of them are in ICU. 588 are on ventilators. Global's Queen's Park Bureau Chief Travis Danraj is with me from Toronto. Travis, Premier Ford has been criticized for hesitating to act and then going too far and for not listening to his own science advisors. What are you hearing about his strategy and what's going on behind the scenes? Well, I'm hearing that there's a lot of chaos behind the scenes, to be quite frank, Donna. You know, uh, we saw over the weekend that, as you mentioned, they reversed decisions pretty quickly, within 24 hours on playgrounds and some policing powers. And I've heard that at the cabinet table, there was a lot of pushback to those decisions. And the premier's office ultimately came down and some of his advisors, including his chief of staff, from what I'm hearing, decided that they were going to go with this decision on playgrounds. It is not something that any expert that I know of has asked for, and, and that is one of the real criticisms here, that the Premier continues and his government continues to disregard some of the expert advice that they are hearing, and uh, there's a question as to whether or not and how much politics are playing a part in some of these decisions. So, Travis, what now for Premier Ford? Does the fact he's committing to paid sick days for essential workers perhaps tell you he might be prepared to listen more? I think today's news conference does signal a shift, and I think you, you saw that with the tone that the Premier had coming out. It, it is not often that we hear from this Premier a flat-out apology and, and admission uh, that he was wrong, that the decision that his government made was wrong. Usually he digs in his heels and he sticks to his guns, so to speak. We do know that uh, there will be some sort of paid sick day program. What that looks like right now is still unclear, but the experts have been calling for that for some time. They've also been calling for essential workers to be vaccinated. So on those two fronts, I think that you will definitely see a shift. And the Premier knows that this is a political calculation for him as well, because his approval ratings right now are, are going down. In recent polls, they've sunk about 20 points or so. So I think we will start to see some changes when it comes to the government strategy. Okay, Travis Danraj in Toronto, thanks.